this is a KVM switch. <laughs> Have you ever wondered how you can use your monitor, keyboard, and mouse at the same time on two different PCs? Especially when you have a gaming PC, a Windows PC, and a Mac? Well, that's why we have this box right here. This is a KVM switch, and not just any KVM switch. This is actually from Level 1 Tech's KVM switch. This is a hybrid or combo USB-C KVM switch. So let's see if we can drive three 4K monitors right here. Hopefully it can get up to 240 Hertz with a DSE, display, display stream compression, and use the same keyboard mouse at the same time. So without further ado, let's open this bad boy up. By the way, the packaging is really, really simple. Nothing, no fancy branding and all. It's from level one tech, but this is not cheap, just to be honest. You know, at the time of recording, this is about $750. So if you know, you know. But this is really, really, you know, really highly rated KVM out there. The other ones I actually have tried before, but I don't know, they're not working. It worked funky, sometimes it works, sometimes no. It's not good. But anyways, here we go. All right, we have the full rubber feet right here. Okay, that's good. You also have the manual, I forgot, I set it aside. Uses manual, you can see. Two ports, USB-C KVM switch with hybrid video, multi-monitor, USB 3.2 Gen 1. USB audio, really, really good. We can just plug in the uh, speakers, especially with my DAC. Power delivery charging, hotkey control. So if you can see that, most of the um, KVMs out there are like one PCB, like tiny. This one is massive. Can you guys see? So hopefully we'll have it here. Okay, video inputs, it says here 4K USB-C one, display port 1.4, two ports times two. Okay, so we have triple monitor and dual video. It's basically two PC, dual PC, triple monitor. There we go. Okay, okay, what do we have here? Power cable, okay, I like that. The power cable is the same as the PC. Here we go, basically three point right here and then the other one here, okay, good. Yeah, then the power adapter right here. Well, the good thing about an external, you know, power adapter is not inside the box is you can save more space. You can put in more, you know, circuitry there, ICs and all that for the actual machine. At the same time, you take out the interference, the noise of the power of this one. So I like that. Keep this one really quiet and clean. There we go, pick this up for a KVM switch, I, I gotta tell you, this is um, quite big. Here we go, wow. Okay, in the front, we have here, it says two port, triple video, KVM switch. It's We have the HID here, the USB port, another USB port right here, the blue port. I think this is five gigabytes. I gotta check the uh, manual. Yeah, so right here, it says U3 is, oh, USB 3.2 Gen 1, this one. And then the UH, H, this is the HID port. Connect to a keyboard or mouse or touchscreen. So yeah, you can connect the keyboard, mouse or touchscreen right here. And then we have the selector button right here. You, you have the PC1 and PC2 lights. So you'll know, you know which one is in use. Okay, at the back, here's where everything, you know, the center of the attraction. <laughs> the left side, we have the power uh, port right here. 135 watts, 19 to 21 volts. Okay, and then here we have three consoles. So basically this is where you're gonna be putting all your keyboard mouse video, hence KVM, keyboard video mouse. Okay, so UH, HRV, US, yep. Sharing port U3, U3, where's U3? Oh, this one, USB 3.2 sharing port. Connect to an USB 2.0 or 3.2 device. So I guess, yeah, there's a, I guess you can do a sharing and there's like two or three switch, interesting. I gotta try that later on, right? It says here, you wanna try four lane plus U2 or two lane plus U3. Okay, uh, moving on. We have the first uh, row right here is a DP out, two DP outs, basically. Actually, three DP outs, yeah. Display port, output, output, out. All three DP outs. This, basically, this is where you will connect to your uh, monitor. Three display ports. Okay, awesome. 
And then the middle one, uh, we have PC2. So this is the uh, PC2, the selector. So PC2 display port. There's two display ports and then one USB-C for PC2. So uh, for if you have a Mac mini like I do, we will plug this in the uh, USB-C because natively Mac has is on um, has HDMI ports, not display ports. They do support a display port, but not on the device itself. Go into the monitor. Anyways, I digress. And the same for PC1 right here. Two display ports and one USB-C port. Okay, pretty good. So we have a lot of ports at the back, especially all the stuff that we need. And we also have two speaker outs here, two 3.5 millimeter jacks for one for microphone and one for uh, output speaker. Although I am using a, an external DAC where I plug in my USB cable. So I'm going through digital to make it cleaner. So I don't think, I'm not sure if I can use this one, but it's, you know, it's good to have it there as an option. Pretty simple. Let's go to the uh, computer and we'll set it up. All right, so now I've hooked up the, all the cables to the KVM. If, as you can see, I got like about seven display ports connected and two USB-C at the bottom. You may not be able to see, but yeah, here we go. I got two Moshi high-end cables as well. And then the right one is the uh, PC1, the middle one is PC2, and the third one, the third row, because actually there are in rows, is the output to the monitors and all that. So as you can see, so much cables, it's gonna be very challenging in uh, cable management. And I have all these uh, cooked up or connected to the USB-C Thunderbolt uh, port at the back of the Mac. And this one is, yep, that's going to the Windows 11 uh, gaming PC of mine. And then, again, connected there. Part of the cable, it's way too many. It's really hard to do cable management when you have, we're dealing with more than 10 cables at once. And, yep, this is the Moshi USB-C to display port cable. I think this is, uh, or this also supports Thunderbolt 3. Yep, it is USB-C to Thunderbolt 3. So this is very, very high quality, but it's also expensive. It's about 60 bucks or 60 plus at the time of the recording. But I had the U-Green before and that was USB-C to DisplayPort up to 16K, but I was getting crashes on my Mac Mini. Like it's really hard to get a crash on a Mac Mini, but I, I was getting crashes and all that. So Moshi, uh, USB-C to DisplayPort cable, uh, highly recommended. All right, so this is how the front looks like. As you can see, there are two lights right there. PC1, uh, it has the red and uh, yellow color, but basically red means it's selected. That's the, the active one right now. And then PC2 has the green one, which means it's connected. It doesn't have to be uh, turned on. It's just that it detects that, you know, the DisplayPort is connected. There's a connection at the back and all that. But yep, it's turning uh, green, uh, red, you know, it's not all the way, it's not 100%, but you know, at least you know. And this is the power or switch, um, basically, uh, <laughs> the KVM switch. So yep, as you can see, it's off. And then when you turn it back to PC1, look at how fast this one detects right away. So like really, really good. It's almost like when you turn on the computer and the uh, monitor is detecting some input and all that. So, you know, like one, a second or two. Pretty, pretty good. And then we have one HID port. All right, so there you have it. The KVM, the level one text USB-C combo. A KVM is really, really fast. It's pretty good. It's almost like it's not even there. It's like really, really close to like direct connection to the monitors and all that. And, uh, you know, especially when you have a Mac and a PC, that's a really good combo. One caveat though, uh, I must add, because I totally forgot about this one or I didn't even notice. There wasn't the USB-C port of the KVM. There are like two, right? For PC1 and PC2, the input. You need to connect that, especially a Thunderbolt cable, uh, preferably. It wasn't a problem with, with my Mac mini, you know, the USB-C at the back. It's Thunderbolt and then you connect it to the USB-C. That's where you know, you'll be able to control your consoles, your keyboard and mouse and touchpad or what, you know, whatsoever. You need that Thunderbolt cable. Basically, that's why it's called USB-C combo uh, KVM is because it will send out the video and the controls, the data for, you know, your keyboard and mouse. Without that, you know, you, 
it's not gonna work, right? The one caveat I'm referring to is when you connect that third monitor, which is the USB-C input from the PC. Now, most PCs, they don't really have Thunderbolt port like the you know Mac OS do. Um, there is a GPU that is that has a USB output. I think it's the AMD Radeon uh, 7000. I'm not sure about the 9000 right now, but AMD Radeon 7000 series and I think RTX 2000 series, they have USB-C port. So that's not a problem. You, you know, you connect the USB-C there and connect to the KVM. Now, the problem is if you don't have that, which is what I'm doing right now to be able to at least control my Windows PC is just connect a regular USB-C cable from the KVM and the Windows PC motherboard port. It works for keyboard and mouse, but you won't get a third monitor because the regular USB-C and USB-C port will not be able to transmit both uh, video and data in there. So we will need to get, actually just ordered uh, from Level 1 Tech's uh, store as well, the uh, USB-C combiner, which combines DisplayPort and USB-C, or you connect the USB-C port from KVM to that combiner, and then from there, it will split into USB-C cable, connect to the motherboard to, control, to be able to control, and the DisplayPort to the GPU. So that will be for the next video. We're gonna review that as well. So I'll see you on the next video.